Hi there, people. How's it going? This is Cross the Rubicon Channel. Willie Jackson. Now, Willie Jackson in New Zealand is a minister in the government. He's a radical extremist Marxist Maori minister. And he's very open about his racism. And to prove he's a racist, he calls everybody else a racist all day long, every day, 365 days a year. He's not too dissimilar from Rawiri Waititi or Debbie Packer or Matthew Tukaki. But Willie Jackson is a very powerful man because he's in government. Yesterday he went to Hastings, which is in the Hawke's Bay region that's affected by the cyclone Gabriella. And just like that, stroke of a pen, he gave $15 million to Maori Marai. So basically $15 million just to Maori for their recovery effort. Just for Maori. But of course, this being New Zealand, this is not racist. It's not questioned by the media. It's not questioned by other politicians. It's not questioned by anybody. But that's the way it is here. You can be as racist as you want to be as long as you're well, an, an elite radical extremist fundamentalist Maori MP or academic. It's wrong. It's just so wrong. And I think it was Mike Hoskin today interviewed, I think it was Mark Mitchell. I read the excerpts of this and he asked Mark Mitchell if he thought it was racist that Willie Jackson would give $15 million to just marry in Hawke's Bay. And this Mark Mitchell says, oh, well, I don't really know nothing about that, see, because I, I, haven't, I haven't kept abreast. I'm paraphrasing. I haven't really kept abreast of the, of the news lately. This bloke is a national MP. So, honestly, people, if you think you're going to get any different with the national government in New Zealand, you're not. Because I honestly don't believe there's one single MP in all parties in the government or in anywhere in Parliament, or anybody across this country that's got any balls. They've just got no guts. They will not say the things I say. And fair play to Mike Hoskin for bringing this up. Um, although he did go down a different line later, but that's another story. Um, but it's just wrong. This, this is just blatant racism and division. It's causing division and it's causing real issues in New Zealand. And Willie Jackson, his is part of the problem. He's really part of the problem. But people are afraid to question him on it because, well, he just calls them racist. And because he's Maori, he has that power. And no one can call him a racist, well, because, well, he's brown. That's it. I think Willie Jackson is mostly British, or should I say, to be more specific, Welsh. So he comes from my part of the world. But anyway, it's a funny old world. It's a funny old country, New Zealand, the way it's going. It's got to stop people. People, you've really got to wake up and make a stand about what's happening here. Because this is so wrong. Remember, it's your money you're spending. And it's a bottomless pit for all Maori causes. Everyone else can just go and get stuffed. According to Willie Jackson and the Rawiri Waititi and Debbie Packer and Matthew Tukaki and all the other radical extremists in government. And the media, they all support them all the way. Okay. This is Cross the Rubicon. Please like, leave a comment, support my channel, sus subscribe, and well, share everywhere because I'm being heavily, heavily shadow banned. Okay, see you later.